everyone, I am Tacit and welcome back to another episode of our Gems of War Let's Play series. In today's episode, we're going to be going over a team with Ranger and Knight Coronet, both of which are very strong troops early on in the game that are fairly easy to obtain. Before we do, I'm going to be going over these little stars. You may have noticed under a couple of the kingdoms that we have here, uh, we have a couple stars under them. There's an the EXP bar under every single kingdom. And I'm going to be explaining what exactly that is. So if we just go under kingdom and then go over to power, you'll see there are a bunch of rewards over here for getting up to certain star levels. Every single troop gives you 50 points, every single trait gives you 25, and every single level gives you 10. These are based on the troops that you have within that specific kingdom. And as you can see here, there are uh, daily gold rewards that you get. But the main ones are all of the tribute and skill ones. Here you can see double tribute reward. This first one means whatever this is under the tribute screen for this kingdom. If it triggers, it will be twice as much what it is now. So it'd be 100 gold, 4 glory, and 48 souls. The next one is double tribute chance. This means whatever your chance is to get a tribute, it would be doubled. So right now, ours would be 20% if we were to get it that high, whereas right now it's only 10. So if you had it at level 8, it would then be 16. Normally, if you're getting that high on the stars, though, you likely already have the kingdom up to uh, level 10. And there's also the double skill bonus, which once you reach a kingdom to level 10 and then you get that, you'll get twice as much of the skill. So you'd be getting two magic right now instead of just the single magic that we currently have. And of course, it just keeps going and there'll be more soon once more troops are actually added to the game. And as you can see over in Zolkari, if we actually set one of them to our home kingdoms, we can actually like double double that because we have the uh, two times that we are getting from uh, just setting it as our home kingdom. So if we were to get this to that star level over here and then get the uh, double tribute reward, which would be the first star or the second star, technically the first gold star. Uh, and then that would give us the um, even double on top of that. So that would then be 20 and 80 soul or 20 glory and 80 souls because it would then be 10 and 40. And then we'd be getting double that for setting it as our home kingdom. So we will eventually get some levels in here. As you can see, we got our one trait. That was from when we did our little giant spider that we have. But we'll work on this. Uh, normally early on in the game, you don't pay too much attention to these. You won't really need to until you really have enough resources to start doing five stars because that's when you start getting double skills. And at that point, you can start getting a lot stronger. Anyways, let's go now into... Actually, I think we have a couple keys. Let's just open a couple keys first, whatever we have laying around. And then let's go and show the team... Yeah, we just have five gem keys from the guild. Actually, I should probably contribute some to the guild. We end up getting a little bit of extra gold. Now that we have all the Magic Kingdoms upgrade, it would kind of be good to give back to the guild for helping us so much. Anyways, we got two, Dragon Cruncher and the Sea Troll. Dragon Cruncher is okay. You don't see him too much. He's mainly just a hard counter to dragons because he has a 40% chance to devour a dragon. Sea Troll also doesn't get much usage. It's nowhere near as good as the uh, Dark Troll that was just added this week, but it doubles the amount of blue on the board. Does literally nothing else other than that. Traits are pretty bad, and we won't really be needing either of these maybe the dragon cruncher if we needed a really hard dragon counter if we ever come and kind of need that he's pretty good he gets twice as much damage to dragons on his first tray and of course like i said the 40 percent chance to devour a dragon so not too bad but yeah let's go get back to our guild real quick We've been getting a lot of stuff from them. I think I only gave them like about 50k so far. So let's give them another 50k because that's pretty much all we can give right now. So let's just go over to the tasks. So of course, the best two we could really be doing are the blue and brown. So I'll help with the blue because we do need more gems. I'll just give pretty much all my gold, give him 50,000 into there. And hopefully we'll get those 40 gems by the end of the week. We should. We still have like three more days left um, before the reset. But let's finally get into this team now. Uh, you can uh, any of you who have been playing in early game know rangers are pretty much everywhere and as far as what i can tell this is one of the cheapest good teams that you can really make around ranger we are making knight coronet ranger alchemist ranger on a brown green banner optimal banner would be uh green yellow the main reason i'm using uh brown green though is because we do not have alchemist second trait uh we kind of need that to have a plus one on him uh normally whenever you have things like 10 mana you want to make sure they have a plus one which is why we have it set to green and why we have a plus one for our alchemist on the brown we could set it to brown or red um but the green has to be because if we set it to a plus one on yellow uh, our knight coronet would be blocking it 
But uh, if our alchemist had the plus one, we could set it to a plus one on yellow, mainly because our alchemist creates a bunch of yellow, which is the main thing we're going to be using to feed all these. We're only using five colors, but we're technically using six because Knight Coronet does remove all purple on his ability. He had a pretty good race boost ratio too, at a two to one. We want to make sure we never use alchemist on purple because we're going to need Knight Coronet to boost off of that. Uh, Knight Coronet does have a really, really good first straight leader, gains three to all skills when used in first slot. He also scales very well into mid game because he also has stone skin, which stops uh, half of all skull damage that you take. So uh, we'll eventually do that. Uh, the only traits that are absolutely necessary to make this work is just Knight Coronet's first straight. But optimally, we would have a fully traded Knight Coronet and Alchemist up to the first two traits. You could technically trade Ranger too. He has a pretty good last trait, but you don't really need the Ranger traded at all to uh, make this team work. It's mainly his ability that we're going to be utilizing. But there's about a 1,000 rating difference between us. That's mainly because I only have a Knight Coronet at 5. This is only level 15, and this is only level 6. Uh, one good thing about using double of a troop, though, is um, you don't have to do multiple souls or traits. Like, we only have to level up a Ranger once. We didn't need to do it twice to have two of them in a team. We could make a whole team of them, and we wouldn't have had to have leveled any more than what we already did. So that's going to be pretty helpful, uh, since we didn't need nearly as many souls. Of course, souls are pretty tight this early in the game. Later on in the game, they become much more abundant once you start getting a lot of solid teams, once you get a pretty solid soul farming team. But uh, at the moment, even though we do have a pretty solid soul farming team, still takes quite a bit to get these souls. Uh, it takes about 1.8 million souls at the moment to max out every single thing in, this, uh, in the game. So, of course, it does take a little while, and uh, you feel that initially at the beginning, but once you get past, I would say, about like 50 to 100 hours of gameplay, it starts getting a bit easier. I haven't been trying to directly farm souls too much as of lately, and of course, we've been doing so many teams, which is what has been depleting out a great majority of our souls. But... Let's go now and poke these down. I'm going to start this at the Ranger. We can do a damage to a select one and then a bunch of extra split damage based on how many troops are alive. So something really weird about the Ranger is you do want to try keeping the entire enemy team alive. This will help out quite a bit because you'll be doing five additional damage per troop that you keep alive. So there we go. We have the front and the back troop now. Now we can hit that out with our Knight Coronet. Deal damage to the first one. Deal damage to the last one. And there we go. It is as simple as that. This is about as good of an economy team that you can make early on in the game uh, that I can even think of. It's just an ultra rare, a rare, a rare, and another rare. Two of which are the same, so you don't even need as many souls. You can see we barely even have these things leveled at all. Uh, let's see if we can do another battle here. We might end up losing simply because we do need a little bit more leveling. You can see our stats are absolutely low in the regard of HP and armor, mainly because I do not have the leveling on them. Only the Rangers kind of leveled. But leadership is making up for that sum. Uh, leadership is very, very important with this, especially Stone Skin if we could get it. But leadership is like a minimum, mainly because it's just so, so effective on Knight Coronet. He's not only doing three additional damage to two different enemies. He has that three higher attack and that extra three and three, which even with Stone Skin, if we happen to go that far, is very, very effective. And yeah, I haven't really mentioned it, but the Water Spirit too. He will gain another magic, which means another damage to the front and the last enemy. But let's see. Let's just go down another one. That went really quick. This team can lose. Um, especially with how under leveled we have it but uh, you can see the kind of damage output it has it actually has a higher damage output this early in the game than that of dragon soul which we've been using by mainly just been using dragon soul because we need the souls of course uh, it has just been going on that we barely even have any so uh, it's not really that we don't have any it's actually pretty easy to get a nice variety the main problem that I'm having is I keep showing so many different teams uh, which normally this early in the game, you kind of can't try so many teams, but I, I like to experiment around, especially on this newer account. It's nice to be able to try a nice uh, variety because normally, uh, like farming wise, all I'll just use, we've been getting such good drops. All I'd be using if I was farming is just Dragon Soul over and over and over and over again. And of course, it's good to try some other things. And this one, if, if you can get these troops, you're pretty solid for probably up to about a level 100 with this team that we are using right now. Uh, maybe even up to 200 uh, if you can get them all fully traded because the boost ratio on him is, is still very good. You wanna make sure you keep all of them alive, just keep ticking them down. Um, problem we have here is that Knight Coronet, I may get a double, oh no, he won't have enough for a double kill. Uh, he's, he's getting there though, he's definitely getting there. Uh, that will do a lot of damage to us and I currently don't have anything I can do on the board uh, to really stop him. Just kind of looking around. I may do it on purple. He'll take a skull though. But that means our Knight Coronet is going to die. So I probably won't do that. Um, 
yeah, he is a little bit tanky compared to the previous one we just tried. But we'll take this grain, and Night Coronet shouldn't kill us. I don't believe he's getting that big of a boost ratio now. Yeah, pretty close, but okay, never mind. He does get one skull, so there goes our Night Coronet. Poor thing! No, but of course, Night Coronet was mainly just a tank in this team. He was does do quite a bit of damage, but I was mainly using him as a tank. The main thing we need is the Double Ranger. Right there, there is a skull. He only has 12 attack, though, so I don't mind if he actually gets that off. Oh, never mind. Uh, we can actually take that based off the Cascade. And, okay, so he won't take skulls next turn. Let's just keep taking these extra turns until there's no more left. Oh, wow, there's a lot of extra turns here. Maybe we can get that red. Oh, we didn't get it off the Cascade. That would have been so nice because there's so much room here to actually use an Alchemist. But now we can start poking them down. I'm actually going to start with this because it can summon. Uh, then I will probably go for his Knight Coronet because that's the highest damage he has on his team. Right here would be a perfect time to have Alchemist. Unfortunately, we do not actually have him up right now. The Skulls, I'm just going to ignore. He only has 12 damage. The only way he could possibly get a kill is if he gets a Skull there and then another Skull there. But the chances of that happening is low enough that that likely won't happen. So we'll just throw this at his Knight Coronet. We'll get a double kill there. And we only need to cast one more time and that will be the match then. So we'll take the yellows that he just gives to us and then boom, we win. So yeah, that is the double ranger team. All you really have to do is put an alchemist with it. If you really wanted to, you could use something other than Knight Coronet. Uh, maybe something like Poison Master, but I found um, so far Knight Coronet, just with the leadership and the high damage he has, is I think the best option that you can do as far as cheap troops. Cheap, cheap troops that you can put in there. Of course, I think like the most optimal thing we could do with a double ranger uh, alchemist combo would be a Queen Mab, but of course Queen Mab is a legendary, and a lot of people, including myself on this account, do not have it. But anyways, that'll wrap it up for this video. If you guys have any other questions, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and have a wonderful day.